It looks like a, it's a CrossFit. I should just grab the coffee that they had there. Whatever. It's like you rotate through a bunch of um, workouts. Like you do like two minutes of each one. Yeah, so it went from like 6.15. I'm in the Dunkin' line right now. So the plan for today is that I have work until, I don't even know how long this class is. We ask my like cohort. So I have a CPI training at 8 a.m. Um, I have no idea what CPI is. I've only taken something like it. I think it's like something that like defend yourself when and something someone's in like mental crisis, something like that. I don't know. We have a lot of those in the ER, so that's why I get why they need us to do it. But I don't really know what exactly they're going to teach us. But in terms of the class that I just took, it was really fun. It was like. It was very similar to, um, um, there used to be a class called Athletic, Athletic Training Club at 24 Hour Fitness. I don't know if they still have it or not. I'm pretty sure they do, and it's basically that. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily do it again. All these classes just kind of remind me of the classes at 24 Hour Fitness. Um, but they're just obviously a little, they're more geared towards these specific classes. So like take for example, they have specific equipment for this versus 24 just has like regular weights. Um, and then 24 doesn't use the TRX. Um, today was abs day, but I don't know why my arms are, like they feel like my shoulders are so weak. Like it looks like my shoulders are like formed. People are like saying like, what do you do to work out your shoulders? And I'm like, nothing. Like literally I don't work out my shoulders. That's why whenever we do planks for a really long time, whether that's in yoga or like CrossFit, my arms get so tired. Or maybe I just have bad form. I don't even know. But I should have gotten food, but like, I'm just gonna get some coffee and coffee. Thank you. Go to work, y'all. Okay, so people are saying our freaking training lasted four to six hours. It's a freaking long time. I don't know what they're gonna try and teach us there. Now, the creamer at Duncan is so sweet. I freaking love Duncan's coffee. Definitely shouldn't have gotten a large, but. Whatever. We're just gonna do it. I think I'm gonna take the ice out. Oh, God damn. I did not know that this class would be four hours. I thought it was gonna be like two hours and I was gonna go home. So I didn't buy any food. My, I asked my friend who took it. She's like, yeah, it's like four to six hours. Two hours, like what are they gonna teach us? We get paid. So anything we go to, we get paid. But we're freaking, I, just all I bought was this stupid coffee and I was like oh it's fine and it'll only be two hours I don't so all I brought was this big ass coffee and I was like oh my god woke up late this morning so like I didn't bring lunch again where do you buy lunch Stop by the 7-Eleven because I started getting a headache. But we just got out of our class. Yeah, we did. Woo. Jonah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I got this baby food looking thing. I used to always get these at Riverside when I wouldn't have to eat breakfast. And then I got these Bavitas and they're super cheap. So now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go return my stuff from I bought all these things from S Sally's Beauty, so I'm gonna go return that, and then I need to get my eyebrows started, even though it looks like I have no eyebrows to thread. Okay, I like ate the whole thing on the way. 
and this coffee making me super jittery so I gotta return these two and then I'm gonna get my eyebrows done I used to use these I don't know if anyone watched my other video where I tried to dye my hair and it went really badly um, but I bought these again I don't know why <laughs> but I don't need them because I just got my hair done so I don't know if you would even notice a difference, but anyway, I got my eyebrows done. I haven't done my eyebrows in so long. So it feels good to finally get them done. I hate getting cooling gel though because I don't like people touching my face for extended periods of time. It freaks me out and makes me feel dirty. <laughs> Okay, mm I'm gonna go home now. I want to get my nails done, but I'm hungry, so I think I'm gonna rest first. So basically, what the CPI training was was we were like learning to de-escalate mental health people. I knew I took a class similar to it before um, when I was a CNA, and it's like learning moves to like protect yourself, all these things. Um, apparently, now it's a state-regulated thing where you have to take it every single year. For anyone who comes into contact with like mentally ill people but it's like bizarre because our hospital makes even like our unit secretary do it and it doesn't make any sense because they're not even in contact with the patient so basically that's what that was um yeah so we did that it wasn't that bad it was very basic I definitely don't think you should have to have like something that's like that extensive for that kind of content but whatever I don't even care I wasn't even working today anyway um so now I'm like debating if I want to do this so I was like maybe as like a new grad I could like pick up more shifts in the ER to like learn more or I could work as, um, there's this care and recovery company that's, um, there's this basically like post-op company where they are kind of, it's kind of like home health where you just go there and you work up with these people who have like breast augmentation, post-surgery, stuff like that. So I was like debating if I would want to try and do that because I was, looking to see if I could like pick up more hours <clears throat> okay like the pro of that would be the fact that like I would just be um in like a more chill environment um but then I was also thinking I was like why would I need to pick up another job when I could just pick up more hours at the job I'm at so I'm like kind of like debating right now because I did like schedule an interview but now I'm like kind of second guessing it because um, they always do need like a lot of hands on deck for, um, for our hospital, especially in the ER. Um, so I don't know, I, don't, I really don't know. I kind of just want to, I'm just going to interview and see what happens, but even if I do just like pick up another shift. I don't know, it's just like, I don't really wanna do, I wanna try something different where it's like a different environment. I feel like post-op surgery is like a completely different job than ER. ER is very urgent and you're always like on your feet versus post-op is a lot more chill. Recovering is like <coughs> a lot easier than like de-escalating like all these things and like doing a lot of the initial care of a patient but I don't know honestly my only concern is like when you're in recovery and you're helping with all that kind of stuff it's just kind of harder for um it's weird because I, I'm pretty sure you're like on your own I don't know if you have like two nurses with you or you just have one I feel like it'd be completely like it wouldn't be efficient for them to have two nurses to one patient Cause like that ratio doesn't like make any sense um but i feel like it would be really good to have like one nurse one patient and like 
for the most part I assume they're like healthy people because like why would you um why would you get like plastic surgery if you weren't healthy I don't think they would allow you to even do that unless it's for like it wouldn't be considered plastic surgery then you know unless it's like yeah I don't know I just assume most people are healthy that are gonna be patients there so that's why I was like oh that'd be kind of nice to do something like that and it's only per diem and you like pick your own cases and what cities you want to go in so obviously for the most part I want to be doing like Orange County because that's like the area that's closest to me I'm just like so tired right now I really want to get my nails done because like look at this it's so gross and like I hate I really hate when like People like look at my nails and it looks so gross. And I I'm gonna rest first because I want to go home. I just want to lay down for a little bit and then I'll go ahead. I really wanted to get my toenails done too, but I need to be on a budget because I am spending too much money. It doesn't make sense for me to get my toes done, so I'm gonna just do my nails. My nails are really gross. And I feel like for the most part, like now that it's winter, you don't really see my feet unless I'm like in yoga. Um, I don't know if anyone knows what this is, but it's really good. It's called Tanola and it's a Filipino thing. And I'm really hungry and so we ate yesterday, but my grandma cooked it. So I'm gonna go eat it. It's like supposed to be really healthy. Supposedly, but I don't really know if it is. Okay, I'm just gonna pour some papaya, but I don't like it warm, so I put it in the put it in the fridge. And then we have leftover in and out, but I don't know how old this is to be honest. My TV. Let me see if I can do it. No idea how this works, but you focus it. Oh my god, it's not gonna focus. It's like this button. It's like, oh my god. Okay, anyway, yeah, it's on one of these buttons in the corner. And you can watch Vlogmas like I'm watching. The pies are finally cold and I'm so freaking excited to eat these. Well, my face is sore, so if you're actually kidding me. So, I'm gonna be getting dinner with one of my friends. Why? I don't really know. I don't know why I have my glasses. Damn. I gotta go get them. But yeah, gotta go eat dinner with my friends later. I don't know where we're gonna eat. We might go eat. I don't know. I'm not like really craving anything. I'm just kind of hungry. That's why I decided to eat my papaya. Literally all I've been doing is watching Vlogmas videos. For the past like two hours and then I edited but I needed a charger so that's upstairs again it's been a chill day it's been a chill couple of days um tomorrow I was supposed to be doing Pilates I'm so cold I'm gonna put this blanket over me um I'm supposed to be doing Pilates tomorrow um but then I got kind of lazy so I decided that I was gonna do um, yoga instead, but I'm kind of scared because this yoga is like 90 minutes. Pies. My friend's trying to tell me to go to, a yo to the coffee shop, and I haven't been going to the coffee shop since I like finished school. Cause there's really no purpose. Unless I'm trying to plan something, or I don't know. I 
I don't know, there's just no purpose to me going. I was thinking of like looking into schools because I don't know, just cause just to see. But I just wanna chill for like a couple months or maybe a year. And then I'll look into schools just cause I'm like enjoying my life, enjoying my time to myself and stuff. I know I said that and then I ended up freaking like scheduling an interview. Look how cute. I kind of wish this one lit up, but I think that would be a little too excessive, but this one's cute. So I'm gonna go out to eat. This is my outfit. I'll say though, that if you're looking to like lose weight, one thing that I do is I always bring my own water bottle because they always give you like tiny, tiny water bottles or water cups when you go to restaurants and it makes you eat more because you're not drinking as many fluids. Um, so yeah, there's that. Let's my own. Uh, my friend's going to be sitting here, so I don't know how she's going to... I feel like I never have anyone in, this, in these vlogs because no one ever feels like being filmed. Oh my god, dude. Uh, what? This, the guy that just sat next to me. I'm vlogging. You want to say hi to my vlog? Oh, where? Right here. Oh! You're, you, saw, you just heard my whole story? You didn't see me. Ew, the lighting's not good. Oh my god! That's dirty. I wouldn't touch that. I'm clean that thing. You're nasty. Aren't you supposed to? Maybe I should just pick up more hours at the hospital if I really want to work more. Do you want to work more? Your destination is on the way. I don't know. I'm just like. Why do you seem like you're having a mental breakdown like every two seconds though? Because I, I am. am. <laughs> yeah. The other I've cried like she works in the NICU. Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, I've cried like twice this week already. And I was like, yeah, that's Are you sick. safe? I mean, I was, but I'm okay now. Oh my god. Hi, okay. Jasmine's vlog. Do you want to introduce yourself? No, I'm not. <laughs> I feel weird. Okay, we're gonna go to Urban Cup. I don't even know what this is. What is this? I actually don't know either. I just know it's really good. I oh. saw it on Yelp. <gasps> oh, we before, missed Happy like. Hour. God damn it. Okay, what is this again? This is the bulgogi fries and then the pad thai. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, where's the? Oh, it's over there. It's kind of small, but. <laughs> What did you say? It's kind of small, isn't it? It's usually like the whole plate. Yeah. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. And I really want to do an assumptions video or like just post um, the question bank on my Instagram about assumptions. <laughs> but I'm like kind of scared to see what people have to say like what you have assumed about me But I don't know should I post it? I if you're watching this right now Go check out my Instagram post if I posted it or not Because I literally have it Right here, can you see? I have the assumptions question, but I didn't even post it. I don't know. But anyway, <coughs> this is going to be the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in day seven of Vlogmas tomorrow. Um, we decided to do a yoga class tomorrow, so you're going to see more of my friends tomorrow. So you all don't think that I'm a loner. Um, but that's going to be it for today's vlog, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.